Hi, thank you for giving me the opportunity to uh, share with you the most popular or most in phenomenon in China. Uh, it's live streaming e-commerce and it is considered the e-commerce 4.0. Now, what is live streaming e-commerce? On this slide, you will see three, <laughs> you will see three uh, video that I have embedded in this slide. These are the form of live streaming e-commerce. These three, the first, the, the gentleman on the first video in the first video is called Austin Lee, Li Jiaqi. The lady in the second video is called Via. The third a gentleman is called Xingba. These three are the three most popular uh, live streaming hosts and hostess in China. So you'll see what Austin Lee is doing is trying the, the product on, on him in order to show the consumer how, you know, in this case, lipsticks, what the lipstick look, looks like, what is the color, and what they, they will do after they explaining the product is they will pop up the, uh, you know, purchase link. And if you, if you like what you're seeing uh, by endorsing, uh, endorse, endorsed by these uh, host and hostess, you can just click the buy uh, link that they provided and you can do instant uh, e-commerce purchase. So in other words, live streaming e-commerce is a super sales plus their mobile handsets, plus the product they have selected to endorse and also the e-commerce instant transaction uh, platform and payment gateway so that the e-commerce transaction can happen almost instantly if the consumers like what they're seeing uh, you know, in this live streaming showroom by these uh, host and hostess. Um, so what is the current uh, industry state of the live streaming e-commerce? In China, we have uh, 560 million online uh, live streaming users as of March this year. Now, because of COVID-19, COVID the live streaming e-commerce, uh, the growth of this uh, sector has been accelerated because of the uh, impact of the virus. Market value, uh, sorry, market scale in value uh, in 2019, uh, the sales generated, which is the market scale, uh, the sales generated by the live streaming e-commerce back in 2019 was 65 billion US dollars. And that was roughly about 1% of the total China retail. We believe that number is going to hit 130 billion by the end of this year. Now, live streaming is, is nothing new. Live streaming started as early as 15 years ago in in 2005, that was the PC stage. And it was happening in a lot of the chat room. And when there's live concert, the live concert will pop up on online video, uh, you know, or TV station. So that was the beginning of the live streaming uh, industry in China. Now, and 2.0 2 of live streaming uh, took place between 2012 to 2014. It was still the PC uh, stage or PC age. But this is when the gaming live streaming started to gain traction. So we know this is when the esports started in China. In 2015, five years ago, live streaming started entering the mobile age, and then we started to see um, started to see entertainment being live streamed, and we also started to see long tail content curation also being live streamed on mobile. So the consumers are very used to using a very small mobile handset. And we have long history by now, about 10 years of, you know, content creation, content curation, uh, you know, among, you know, consumers. So it, it's, on, it's only natural when in 2017, all these people who are curating content decided that if I can curate content, I can certainly curate content selling products on mobile. So that marked the first year of the live streaming e-commerce uh, in China. So this started about three years ago. Now, if you look at any commerce um, um, to be successful or, to, or, or just to, to, be, to be possible, you need consumer or you need people, you need distribution channel and you need merchandise. So this, you know, it, this makes sense way before the e-commerce age. This is happening in the retail, uh, uh, retail age as well. But for live streaming e-commerce, you need these three uh, happening all online. So on um, people, when we're talking to more than just consumers, we're talking about 
also influencers or you know curators they are curating a lot of content and some of those contents are about endorsing product introducing products selling products so that falls under the people uh, sector then the distribution channel live streaming e-commerce it's e-commerce so the e-commerce channel has to be mature enough so if we look at china we now have one close to 1.3 billion 4G users. That's almost like every Chinese consumer has access to 4G. So it, it's critical to have this 4G connectivity because the, the, the experience will be seamless. Uh, you won't get sort of stuck because of the slow speed of the connection. And we have our 710 million e-commerce users, which means e-commerce is already a standard uh, we can't imagine at the moment that any product that doesn't have an e-commerce store or, or doesn't have an e-commerce shopping channel available for the consumers in China to choose from or to buy. And like I said earlier, we just like live streaming users alone, we have 560 million. And at the moment, just to show how mature e-commerce uh, channel is in China, it is now about a quarter of total retail that's taking place in China. So that's how you know, vibrant and dynamic that distribution channel or e-distribution channels in China uh, is like today. Now merchandise, we just on, you know, on Taobao and, and Tmall platform alone, we have more than 10 million stores. And, we, we, and that's just you know, Alibaba's e-commerce platform. We still have at least 50 other uh, e-commerce channels or e-commerce platforms they're selling all sorts of products every day to the consumers. And, and also China is very famous for having a, a, a very you know, large manufacturing uh, industry. So we, we have very mature and quick turnaround production lines that can churn up products you know, very quickly in order to satisfy consumers' need. Live streaming hub and, and plus merchandise warehouse we have a lot of companies that you know, will be taking up, say, the entire buildings in, say, a second tier city, and they will convert the whole building into a lot of very small live streaming studios inside a building. And at the bottom of the building or at the basement of the building, a lot of times will be either a supermarket or a merchandise warehouse. So people or live streamers can just arrive at the building go to the product or merchandise warehouse, pick the product that they would like to sell today, check themselves into the live streaming studio, set up their phone, take it away and start selling and endorsing the product. So that's, that's what, you know, how merchandise is made. Not just we have mountains and mountains of merchandise, but we also have this whole infrastructure to help people who can sell, to help people who create content to sell products you know, make their life very easy to just pick a product, go and sell to their users via their mobile phone. So these three very mature sectors are, are coming together very nicely in China to create this live, you know, live streaming e-commerce phenomenon in our market. Some of the fundamentals that you will need or see happening that make live streaming e-commerce possible. The first one, like I said, you need a mature uh, technology, uh, you know, connectivity technology. So high-speed Wi-Fi, 4G, or like right now, China, we're migrating into a 5G uh, technology. So to have that technology, it, it ensure a very smooth user experience. You need mature e-commerce backend and payment gateway. So when consumers, you know, like what they've seen on these on the live streaming uh, e-commerce, you know, time slot, they want it, they want it there, there, they want it now. So they can just, you know, a click away, purchase those products, and the delivery will be arranged the very next day. You need a lot of brands who are willing and brave to experiment the new, but you also need consumers who are willing to embrace the new. So they're willing, you know, or allowing brands to try these live streaming e-commerce to sell product to them in a, in a new way. So it's all fun and it's all you know very exciting about live streaming e-commerce. But we also have challenges that, are, that, that face live streaming e-commerce. 
The first one is, you know, if you're a consumer in China, you are, you are bombarded by mountains and mountains of products every day. How do consumers discover new products? Well, how do they discover their new variant introduced by a brand that they know from before, or they used before? They can certainly go and do search themselves, but we have information overflow or overload. So these live streaming e-commerce today are being used by the consumers as a product screening or product shopping guide, if you like, by these super sales and hosters. And they have built a trusted relationship between, you know, with their fans by these super sales. So a lot of consumers you know, have a trusted enough relationship with these super sales. They will check in through their live streaming e-commerce uh, time slot every night just to see, you know, what are some of the new products that they've never heard before? Or, you know, what are some of the new variants by the broad products they they have used from before, from the past, or if there are any you know, special discounts they're offered today because of the super sales. So the super sales at the moment, like you know, Li Jiaqi, Austin Lee, or Wei Ya, or, or Xinba, their time slides will happen roughly about uh, between eight o'clock to 10 o'clock almost every night during the week. So those two hours are now the new prime time. The consumers will go to those uh, their, their live streaming uh, uh, e-commerce time slot just to see just to see new products, just to see uh, or enjoy the discount. This live streaming e-commerce also have created an even shorter path to purchase uh, for, for the consumers. Um, like I said, you know, in, in my first chart, when I show you those video, when these super sales endorse the product, once they finish endorsing a product, per product is about two to three minutes, there will be a purchase link popping up on the screen. So if I like the product, I, would, I can just click the, the, the link, make my purchase, and just wait for the delivery to be arranged the very next, next day. So the challenge to brand is that means you, you have that two to three minutes to convert or to, for the sales to convert sales for you. So, you know, can you provide exciting enough information for these sales to tell a good story, to tell an interesting sales stories about these uh, products of yours? And can you, uh, or what, are you willing to provide, uh, you know, discount for these sales to accelerate the sales for you? So that, I mean, the digital age these days, path to purchase is already a lot shorter than the traditional age. These live streaming e-commerce, the path to purchase is even shorter than the digital, um, uh, you know, uh, e e the digital uh, age of path to purchase that we're talking about. Now, a lot of the brands in China, um, they really like this e-commerce, uh, 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 sort of e live streaming e-commerce, and they wanted to use use celebrity. When I say celebrity, I mean show business celebrity. That may not work, you know, oftentimes. Because these are show business celebrity, they, they, they don't equal sales. They don't necessarily know how to sell. They might be very good at acting. They might be great at singing, but it, they probably don't have the skill sets that require to sell the product. In this photo I'm showing you, this lady on the left-hand side, she is a very popular show business celebrity. And her team believe that because of her fame and popularity, if they put her in front of the camera, and prepare a list of products and information for her to sell, they were very sure that she's able to convert uh, you know, millions and millions of sales that night. So they arrange a five hour time slots for her. And she, of course, you know, very happily to, to, to enter or arrive at this uh, live streaming studio that's set up for her. But very quickly, about two hours into this five hours uh, live streaming e-commerce, she realized and she didn't know, she, she didn't have what it takes to become or to be like these e company, like streaming e-commerce supercells. She started hating it. She started showing emotional response to this whole setup. She didn't want to collaborate with this assistant salesperson next to her, next to her. And she threw a tantrum and it turned out to be a disaster for these many brands who pay her the money for the endorsement. So you got to be very careful using celebrity 
um, check them out and see whether they, they, they have what it takes to be a salesperson for your product. And you might have very high advertising to sales ratio. If you want to use you know, a super popular you know, uh, 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 a salesperson like uh, Austin Lee. I want to take a, a, a real example uh, just to show you how high the advertising to sales ratio is. BV is a luxury uh, lady, lady handbag or luxury you know, handbags uh, brand. They uh, have booked a time slot with Austin Lee on August 21st to do live streaming uh, e-commerce sales for them on Tmall. So they have provided 230 BV uh, cloud bag mini and each mini bag cost about roughly US dollars, $1,800. This 230 BB bag sold out less than a, in less than a minute. So the total sales generated by Austin Lee in this time slot was roughly about 420,000 US dollars. Cost to BB. If you want to hire Austin Lee to endorse your product, there's a one-off you know, endorsement fee that you have to pay, which is about 45,000 US dollars. Then you also, on top of that, you have to pay 20% sales commission to Austin Lee, in this case, is roughly about 85,000 US dollars. So the total advertising or marketing to sales ratio for BV of this live streaming e-commerce slot was roughly about 30%. This is very high compared to the five to 15% batch benchmark that we know, that, that we're very used to. So it's a very high price, at least in terms of percentage wise, that you have to pay. And this is a luxury. Uh, product. So if you, can, you can imagine how high that percentage is going to be if this is a you know, fast moving consumer product at a, at a much lower price range. However, even though the advertising to sales ratio tend to be much higher if you want to use Austin Lee or Via, but you do have that much longer term of uh, sort of benefit that you can max out if you know how to use it. In Austin Lee and Via's case, six months after they have done the live streaming e-commerce uh, slot for you, you can, in all your marketing material, carry a sentence that says, this product is endorsed by Austin Lee or endorsed by Via. So that six months of this, you know, carrying this uh, uh, sentences in the material actually gives the consumer some sort of um, verification, uh, certification, if you like, that this product is certified uh, by Austin Lee or Via, and therefore they're happy to endorse it. So you do have that long term to compensate that advertising to very high advertising to sales ratio in that live streaming e-commerce slot. Very bad news to the agency, because the clients will have to find money to fund these super sales, uh, live, e live streaming e-commerce, uh, uh, live streaming e-commerce uh, slot. So I have checked in with a lot of uh, clients who've done so. Uh, where do they get the money? So or, or, or where they, how do they move the money around in order to fund the super sales uh, live streaming e-commerce? Normally two pockets. The first pocket that the money they will move is from the current e-commerce operating profit, profit, uh, uh, a budget. The second is from the regular advertising budget. So that's why I said it's it's not so so such a good news to to advertising agency, and I I believe that live streaming e-commerce is going to come to your market if if it is not already there. So if you're an agency, study the phenomenon in China, brace yourself, get yourself ready, um, so that you can either protect the budget or gain, or, or retain or gain budget by developing new skill sets around the live streaming e-commerce. What's the future of live streaming e-commerce? At the moment, live streaming e-commerce in China is a 1.0 stage, which means it's all about cheap price. It's all about discount. Uh, and then it relies so much on the personality of the super sales. We believe such subject matter experts are going to enter this uh, 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 live streaming e-commerce industry and start selling the products based on their expertise. TV stations. TV stations do have experience from TV channel age, right? And they have beautiful studio set up and they have high quality uh, filming equipment. So definitely they're able to put together 
in terms of quality and in visual experience, a much better uh, uh, live streaming e-commerce experience than this, you know, the, the small mobile phone experience. So we're just waiting to see when TV station is going to, to enter this market. Advertising men and women, we are very good at telling compelling stories. So to sell product, it, it not necessarily relying on cheap price. We, you and I know. So we are very confident that we can sell product by telling compelling stories. So we believe that advertising men and women are going to enter this market and do a very different and very exciting and very fun live streaming e-commerce. VR and AR, watch the space, especially AR. I think they are there. They, you, very soon you're going to see AR avatar popping up on the screen to sell product and endorse product for brands and endorse the product that to you. Now, video selling is not necessarily limited to only e-commerce. You can also embed uh, video sellings in, in your product, especially complicated uh, home appliances. So again, use your phone to scan that the part of that product and up, you know, up popping in your phone, you know, using uh, AR technology, a tutorial video that explain how this product works. So, so you know, video selling can go beyond just e-commerce. So we believe that these are the next stage or the, the future of live streaming e-commerce. Desperate times call for desperate measures. COVID-19 uh, is a big hit, especially to the travel industry. So live streaming e-commerce is not limited to just selling fast moving consumer products. So let's see how the world's largest travel retail, C-Trips co-founder, uh, James Liang, used live streaming to rescue his business from the COVID-19 hit. 直播带货的热潮让疫情笼罩下的消费市场逐渐升温穿过古装直播只是我们光鲜快乐的一面曾有媒体将这次直播行为评价为
，现在直播给你个机会释放出来。这个我觉得每个人都差不多啊，<笑>都有一个叫什么童心。<笑> so what you just seen was uh, uh, James Liang. Uh, the, the video that he was doing all this dance was in front of a a, a hotel in a uh, you know a, 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 a leisure destination that sells you know rooms on sea trip. So he traveled there, put on this Chinese costume, and do this did this dance uh, to to sort of celebrate or introduce the studio uh, the the hotel. So it's a co-founder of Sea Trip. He's willing to to try different ways of selling their product, so I won't be surprised if I see Ashutosh <laughs> doing live streaming selling Group M's product very soon in your market. So I hope my sharing has given you a, a very basic flavor of this, you know, live streaming, you know, e-commerce phenomenon that's that's you know getting very popular now in China, and I believe that e-commerce, uh, sorry, live streaming e-commerce is going to come to your market if it is not already there. So brace yourself and enjoy and have fun. Thank you very much.